Hello and welcome to WordPress Tutorials. In today's video, I'll show you how to build an Amazon dropship website using WordPress and WooCommerce. Let's say you have a WordPress website and you want to start a dropship business and you want to add Amazon's products or any products anywhere and you want to buy them from Amazon, Walmart or eBay or uh, somewhere else or AliExpress and you want to sell them on your PC, uh, on your website. So uh, for this, you will have to import the data from that product from the live website and add to your WooCommerce website. Uh, in, in this video, I'll show you how to build your own website and then how to import those products from Amazon.com. So uh, please stay with us and watch our video. Let's start uh, by installing a WordPress on your website. Okay, so uh, we have a fresh WordPress installation on uh, this subdomain called store.selfstudyhelp.com. I want to install, uh, I want to create a dropship website here. Uh, and WordPress is already installed as you can see. So first of all, we will install a starter theme, come to dashboard, click on appearance, themes, and click on add new, and search for Astra, A-S-T-R-A, -A, and press enter. And click on install now for this Astra theme. After installing the theme, click on activate and then we will install a plugin necessary for our website which have some starter theme, uh, starter um, templates from Astra. So click on plugins, click on add new and search for Astra here as well in the plugins and press enter and we already have this plugin installed so click on update now update it refresh the page and activate the plugin first Astra starter site is already installed click on appearance and click on starter templates this starter templates will only be visible if the, the uh, Astra starter template plugin is already activated okay now we have to choose a template click on start building your website we are uh, using elementor uh, but you can use BV, beaver builder or block editor but we are going with elementor so um, first we will choose a basic shop page let's type store here and it will get all the uh, free and premium store themes uh, themes or templates so here uh, I am planning to set uh, I'm planning to sell kitchen appliances or uh, kitchen items so uh, this theme this uh, template is more accurate for my website click here and you have to choose your logo first if you already have it then click on upload and upload it uh, but you can change that later as well uh, for now, I'll leave it empty and click on skip and continue. Now the default colors for uh, this website is green. Uh, I'll keep that green, uh, but you can change it to any of these predefined templates or palettes. So it will automatically be changed. You can see the color buttons, the um, menu items changing immediately. So you can also change the fonts from here and uh, change the font weight or font size according to your needs and click on continue type in your name your email and choose your level let's say beginner expert intermediate i'm building site for my company or myself or my client so uh, if you are a software engineer or, or uh, a freelancer then you can choose for my client or if you are building this website for yourself or you are a company then choose this one okay now click all these checks and uh, do not leave anything empty and click on submit and build my website it will hardly take uh, five to ten minutes uh, to build this so uh, wait for this until it completes and your website uh, basic website will be ready once your website is ready, you can click here to watch how it looks like. And it's pretty much the same 
as that preview. Okay, now we will do some uh, minor changes. Uh, if you want to change the image in the banner, if you want to change the title here, you can change them easily by clicking edit with Elementor and all these things will be editable. So uh, let's just leave that for now and come to your WordPress dashboard again. Okay, here uh, you can see WooCommerce is already installed. We have some uh, dummy products here. We will first remove all these dummy products because we do not want people to see uh, the, the products which we do not have um, actually. So we will add only those products which we are uh, selling and uh, the drop shipping is available on Amazon. So if, if uh, product which is out of stock on Amazon, we do not need that or if we do not have it um, personally, then we will remove that product from our shop. So let's first empty all products. And now uh, let's find a product which want you, which you want to sell. Uh, I'm selling kitchen appliances. So uh, I'll go to Amazon, amazon.com and I'll search for kitchen appliances first. and it will give me a result. Uh, I'm not uh, so choosy right now because I do not want to be uh, specific for um, or limited to some products. I will, I will get all these products which are visible in this search and add it to my site. So I'll stick to this search result, but I'll definitely choose some uh, filters. For example, the customer reviews, I will only get four star and above, four star and up and it's already embedded in the URL. So uh, all four star and up products will be visible. Okay, now leave this URL open and open a new tab and open a tool called import WooCommerce, which is a tool and it's uh, also built by me, import WooCommerce by dot com and press enter. Here, uh, you will have to download this plugin first. So click here. And download this plugin. Download. And save it somewhere on your PC. So you can upload it to your website. I'm saving it on desktop. Now, come to your website dashboard uh, your own website not import for commerce and install this plugin click on install add new and click on upload browse and choose that plugin which you just downloaded once you download this plugin and activate it uh, you will see a new menu called Amazon products so click on Amazon product and click on settings on the settings page, you can see some fields. Uh, th these are for drop shipping. This one, this one, and this one. The affiliate product, you have to change it from affiliate product to sell or simple product, which is drop shipping option. Uh, today's video is about drop shipping, so we will choose sell products and simple products. Th these are our targeted products. The, the ex this, this is the ratio. For example, if a product price is 149 or uh, let's say, uh, yeah, 149 and you are adding the margin for 1.25, then uh, it will add this 0.25%, uh, sorry, 25% increase on this price and it will add that price to your website. Uh, let me do it and you will, you will see what uh, the effect is. So click on share, save options and you will need this key uh, to you to be used on import WooCommerce so you can get all these products. So go to import WooCommerce again and click on my profile. But uh, before you are going to my profile, uh, you have to register on this website as well. So open this, uh, I'll open this website in a new tab uh, where I'm not logged in. 
and we will go to my profile page again and you will see that it requires a uh, registration or a login or join now so uh, you do not have to log in before if you are uh, because you, if you are first timer then you have to uh, subscribe for free seven days trial click on join now and select the free version and register with your email username email type in your email address click on submit and continue and it will automatically uh, log in if the username is not already registered this username is already registered so we are going to add a unique username and we are in first you are uh, logged in to this account click on my profile again now open your website's dashboard and copy that site key uh, from Amazon settings page and paste it within my profile site key click on save once you save this key your website uh, link will automatically be appeared here so uh, it is confirmed that the products will be gone to your website now click on get data and open amazon.com uh, URL which we lastly searched so copy this URL and paste it within the Amazon URL or category form here you can also use single product uh, URL here but we are uh, first trying this multiple products link click on fetch and wait for it wait for it until it gets uh, some products from the current page and add it to your website so uh, it's getting products now uh, this is the overall products and this is the status uh, for uh, how many products are being added so just leave it until it completes uh, there will also be missing uh, products because some of the URLs do not give response but it counted here uh, so let's see uh, come to your products on your website and let's see they are already added yes uh, we have these things these products added if you open a product into a new tab then you will see that uh, the products are added as simple products or uh, dropship products and the, pr uh, the price is for a green life 3 in 1 breakfast maker let's see with which was in this green life let's search for this control F yes green life 3 in 1 it was 44 here 44.99 but uh, on your website it's 56.24 because uh, the markup ratio we mentioned here is 1.25 which means 44 original price and plus 25 percent uh, extra so uh, this is how the price changes from all these things you will sell it for 56 and uh, once a customer buy it from your add to cart button then you will order it from Amazon for 44 and add that address to uh, the Amazon so they can deliver it to your customer so this is just an example you can uh, add according to your requirements in the markup ratio for example you can add 2 or you can add 1.5 or anything uh, you want to do so uh, this was all for today's video I hope you learned how to uh, build a dropship website using uh, our plugin and um, this simple seven days free trial application uh, you can also leave your questions on the website's bottom uh, footer or you can leave your comments in this video okay guys that was all for today's video i hope you learned something from today's video 
Please give this video a thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel and you will not miss our future updates. Thank you.